Greetings. My name is Julian Hagen. I'm coming to you from Washington Island, Wisconsin. This is the second edition of the Island Report. It is sponsored by the Washington Island Chamber of Commerce and the Washington Island Observer. Our goal is to keep you informed as to how the island is dealing with the coronavirus. Today we are talking with Mr. Dick Toby. He is chairman of the Washington Island Town Board. Hi, Dick. How are you and your family doing during this current health crisis? Hi, Julian. Hey, thank you for asking. Yeah, we're doing well. Um, we're staying safe and staying at home. We uh, just finished a 14-day self-quarantine because we've been off the island for a few days, but uh, we're back safe. I'm in the office, and we're trying to keep things going. Well, I appreciate the time you put in and how you're dealing with this. Are you satisfied with the way the town board has been able to respond to this crisis? And do you feel you have enough of the right resources uh, for dealing with it? Well, certainly uh, I'm really pleased with how the town board has been uh, working with me on the issues. The, uh, the major challenges we've had has been keeping up with both the federal, state, and county advancements in uh, how we should respond. Those have really been the most helpful. Uh, as far as the island uh, itself, um, our major issues are some of the infrastructure things that we're trying to deal with from an information technology basis, but it's, I don't think it's really negatively impacting our ability to perform in this particular time, but the board's doing well with me. Where are you and the town board turning for ideas and guidance to help you deal with all these unknowns? Well, certainly, um, first and foremost, the President of the United States, uh, we, we've been responding to the edicts and mandates that have come from the, the fe at the federal level. Uh, Governor Evers has been very uh, helpful. Our, so both our congressmen and senators have, have provided guidance. And then here at the county level, we've gotten a lot of information that's been helpful. I think um, unique to the town of Washington has been some assistance we've gotten from uh, Boy Blanc Island and Beaver Island. They've helped us because uh, we share uh, the common bond of an island community. And so we've been sharing information and, and sort of Oh, how would you say, uh, leveraging one another's uh, uh, announcements to try and uh, manage through this difficult time. Yeah, island to island, we're some similar, uh, similar folks out there. Sisters, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, the Washington Island scene here has been strongly communicating that they prefer only full-time residents to come back to the island to weather this crisis. How has the public been responding to the message that you've been putting out? I think the response has been good. I mean, we've had, uh, I'm sure, some exceptions to it. I think the, uh, um, the, the primary thing that we all need to stay focused on is the stay home, stay safe, and the 14-day self-quarantining because the, the real challenge gets to be day trippers or folks that don't have a place to stay and then can't comply with the self-quarantining. So whether we have folks who are permanent residents or seasonal residents, if they have a place to stay and can be uh, self-quarantined for the requisite 14 days, I think that addresses our, our principal concerns. Um, you know, my mother is trying to get back to the island here. She's a resident of Naples, Florida, but again, she has a, essentially a permanent residence here on the island. So, but she's been asking me all these same questions of, when can I come back, honey? And uh, uh, it's, well, uh, Let's wait a little longer, Mom, and wait till the weather warms up at least. You usually don't show up to Memorial Day. But, um, and I think we're going to see a number of the seasonal residents who have properties here want to come back. And I certainly from the, the township's guidance level, as long as they're able to self-quarantine for the 14 days, that, that makes sense to us because uh, they are essentially residents during the summer months. But um, the real challenge comes with the uh, what I call the, the temporary or the, the visitors to the island rather than the even the seasonal residents. And, and frankly, that's where I think the major questions that everybody has is how do we both un you know, wind up to that and unwind from that. Yes, it only takes one. So you have to... Just take one, exactly. It's one. Well, and that's the next question kind of approaches that problem too in that uh, some islanders are leaving the island briefly to shop or to take care of some business and then come back quickly to the island. Are you concerned about maybe just one of them, if not some of them, carrying the virus with them? Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I looked at the data 
uh, this morning from yesterday, and I think uh, if I'm reading my data here right, um, Door County has a infection rate of um, 0.33 per thousand. Kewanee County has 0.39 per thousand. Uh, Brown County's a little higher, three times at 1.1. But I mean, we, we, we face the same issue. You know, Sheboygan County is 0.37. So pretty much other than um, Milwaukee County, which is at 2.30, um, the state has a pretty level infection rate. And so it's hard to see how you can just zip off of the island and go down to Sister Bay or down to Sturgeon Bay and say, well, I've just been to the store and I'm, I'm clean. So the public announcement we sent out and the um, town resolution covered this eventuality when we passed it back on March 20th. It basically, you visit a place that's got the coronavirus, self-quarantine when you come back. And as I said, my wife and I did have to leave the island for a couple of days. And uh, when we came back, we self-quarantined. We have another board member that had the same issue and he self-quarantined for 14 days. We did have one of the town office folks that had to go down and deliver ballots to Sturgeon Bay, but that individual was gloved and masked and stuff and was in the car and basically dropped a box off at the city office down in uh, the county office down in Sturgeon Bay. So that individual has not self quarantined, but I, I feel safe with that. So it, you're going to always wind up with exceptions. I mean, in reality, guy, uh, the the ferry guys go to Northport several times a day. So technically speaking, that's off Washington Island. You, you can't reasonably expect them to uh, uh, self-quarantine for 14 days or the ferry, the ferry would shut down. Um, we had an unfortunate last night, my neighbor passed away and so the ambulance uh, was there. And so we had medical workers and they would of course have to go over to Northport. And again, I don't think it's reasonable to assume that they're going to self-quarantine. So you'll have exceptions at the same point in time uh, we do need to be very careful because, as you've said several times, it just takes one. And uh, we'd really like to avoid, because of the age distribution on the island, the the potential for the virus coming here if we can. And, and um, I'd be thrilled if it never happens, but uh, at the same point in time, we need to make all the precautions we can reasonably take. Okay. Well said. As you know, um, we just have to keep washing our hands and respect each other's distance and be very careful. With the crisis that's been going on, how has it affected the finances of the town and in perhaps your ability to govern? Uh, are there any financial worries that you're having for the future from this? As I've learned about the budget here for the town of Washington, as in the government center, um, the town is funded about 92% by residential taxes and 8% by the businesses on the island. But again, it's property tax, not um, occupancy based. And so the, the town of Washington, as in the government, we don't really have much of an impact associated with tourism. Um, the one link we have to tourism is we have a room tax that's imposed by uh, the Door County Tourism Zone. So there's a room tax for that, and a small percentage of that comes back to the town of Washington, which we share with the Chamber of Commerce. So yes, that would affect negatively the uh, the town by about twenty-five thousand dollars. Has been sort of a historical amount. So uh, of our two million dollar budget, it's you know about a one percent impact. Apart from that, we're 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 relatively um, insensitive to this thing. Uh, on the other hand, the the businesses and the individuals who live here and make a living here, uh, this is a, a really, really difficult situation. And, and um, Well, there are more and more discussions at the federal and state level and local levels actually about returning uh, to normalcy by slowly lifting social distancing and quarantining restrictions. What are your thoughts about this in terms of unwinding these restrictions to the island? And, and if, if, if so, how would they happen in your mind? That, I mean, it's an excellent question, Julian. Uh, well above my pay grade. I, I, I got to confess, I'm, I'm not smart enough to figure out how to do the unwind. I think it's, uh, at some point in time, I think we all realize that it has to occur. On the other hand, um, I think we're really looking for guidance from the, the federal government, the state, and the county to, to help us with that because, um, 
I think we're really the tail wagon, the dog. We're at the end of the door up here. And uh, it's, it's hard to imagine how we could drive the bus, as it were, on the policy for the unwind. I think the, the major issue we face is how do we address it within a local community for those who are at risk rather than at a policy level. Thank you so much for joining us uh, for the second edition. And we want to thank the Washington Island Observer and the Washington Island Chamber of Commerce. And we hope you'll keep following us with these different interviews that we'll be doing in the coming days. Uh, it's, it's certainly a, a difficult time and we can all, I hope, stick together in this thing. It, it shall pass, though hopefully sooner than later and help each other and love each other and respect each other, keep your distance. And again, we look forward to seeing you uh, next time we do this.